Hi, it's Jez. Welcome back to my channel. And I've got a charity shop haul for you because uh, it's Sunday and that's what I do. And I'm just going to, if I can just see the corner of my iPad there. Let's move you. A few bits of gubbins. Right, so we're going to start with a bit of um, fabrics and lace um, that I picked up. Oh, well, let's start with charms because that was on the top, Jez. So I did pick this up, actually, um, at Easter when I was away at Easter at the back of the church. Um, and um, I uh, I put it in my handbag and I found it the other day and it was like, oh, oh, that's gone for a burden. So we've got these little round beads, fairly useful. It wasn't those that I bought it for. What I bought it for was all these cross charms, which I thought were really cool. I am going to do a sort of religious theme journal at some point. Um, even if it's just, you know, the the pilgrimage that I go on. And I thought having a few cross charms dotted around in it would be would be really nice. It's probably very difficult for you to see these crosses, but they are lovely. They're not all different, I think. They're all the same as that one. But look, how cute are they? I like them. So I bought them. I probably don't want you in there. Probably want you in something else. So do you know what? I'm just going to scooch you there, and you can go in a container, and you can go in the bin. Because I don't want you. So there was that. So now we get to fabrics and lace. So I guess this is neither fabric nor lace, but it was ATP, and I thought it was nice twine. And I often do at the top of a tag. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, I like fold me ribbon in half. And then I'll tie some thread, you know, some like cotton thread or something around, you know, thick thread. This stuff, this stuff that I tea dye, I often tie that. And I thought, oh, I quite like this tied. It will look nice because it's got a, it's like it's scrunched up. I liked it. So I bought it. And then I got this. Oh, oh, oh that's gone. So I saw this and I thought, oh, I'm having that. This was, so anything that I'd read in it was half price. So it was half a £3.25. I'm not even going to go there. Um, but look at that. So I thought I could cut each of those butterflies out. They'd be quite nice. And that bit of lace is lovely. I could use these bits. Again, these could be used for tying in a bow or tying round, like I've just mentioned, and I've got loads of them. They've got like pom-poms on them. So I thought, yeah, lots of mileage in this. So we've got two lovely bits of lace either side and then individual butterflies. I could even, if I was making a smaller journal, I could even have a bit of this going down the spine. If we imagine this, you could have that going around the spine of a journal or even just covering the front. It's cool that. It's very nice. I liked it. Nice price too. And then they also had in the same little bargain bucket, this was half of £1.50. Um, and so I thought, so that's 75p, that's easier maths. So I thought 75p weren't bad for this lovely bit of lace here. And then this fabric, it kind of reminded me a little bit of a cheesecloth. And I thought, oh yeah, I could definitely chop that up and have it just as little features like I do my cheesecloth. So yeah, maybe something a bit more Halloween-y. And then... I found this. This was half of £1.25. Another scarf, because then I went digging. You know, as you do, one thing catches your eye and then you go proper dig. And it was on the floor, so I had to bend down. And I don't bend down very much. And um, But it was worth bending down for this. Look at this lace. So, got this bit here. So I can unpick all that and have that bit of lace. And then you've got these bits. How lush. And I think, although it's cream, 
which is usable. I think I will try and tea dye it because then it will look even proper old. Just lovely. Very lovely. Lots of it. Half of £1.25 is £62.50, isn't it? Thereabouts, Jez. So that was cool. And then there was this other scarf that I got, which was half of £2. So that was a pound. So this was a pound. It is another, I don't even remember me showing you, I had a pashmina, which is was actually pashmina. I think this one is as well. So it's actually made of cashmere. Um, has it got the pashmina label? Oh, well, maybe this one hasn't, but it, it certainly feels as soft and lovely. There's loads of it. And I thought, this would make a nice cover of an autumn journal. There it is, it is. 70% cashmere and 30% silk. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. And it's like, I'm now I'm looking at it going, maybe I'll wear it. Because <laughs> actually it looks in quite good nick. So this is either gonna get worn or it's gonna get cut up. And um, that's, that's just gonna be a lovely, a lovely autumn journal cover, isn't it? Just beautiful, very beautiful. So, yeah, might be doing that. I think there might be somebody at my front door. No, there isn't anybody at my front door. It's um, it's hot. It's like we're having a heat wave, and um, so the windows are open. So, you know. Complaining about the weather being too wet the other day and now we're having a little bit of a heat wave, but that's not a complaint. I'm very happy with it. But this could be our summer. We always say that. Bit of sun in May and that's it. That's our summer. So this is 95p. I liked it. I loved the colour. And so pretty. So pretty. Can you see? It's gorgeous really like that very very old looking whether it's old or not i really don't know but it's old looking um this isn't old looking but i liked it well i am denied about this actually it was one pound fifty and i thought mm -mm, do i really want to pay one pound fifty for it and then i thought it's quite pretty isn't it and i thought i could i could tea dye it possibly it might take the dye, but it would certainly go on something like it. Now, this was to die for. How lush was that? Absolutely loved it. And it's it's come from a shop. Oh, I want that label, Jez, and you've just... It's just... I'm going to have to wet that to come off. That label's very cute. I'm going to use that. So B and H. So I thought it was a bit showing stores then, but it wasn't. Too. That was B H S. Right. Well, leave that little bit there. That's, that's cool. And then I got yards and yards of it. Absolutely yards and yards, but how absolutely gorgeous is that? Can we see it better on there? No, you just put it on something white, Jez. You absolute idiot. There. There. You can see it now. Is that the right way or the wrong way? That'll be the wrong way, Jez. Yep. Look. Look, look, look. Beautiful. Lovely. I loved it. And, I mean, I'm not a pink person. Don't like pink. But there it is on white. Don't, you can't really see that it's pink, can you? It's just gorgeous. Love it. You only notice the pink when there's loads of it on top of each other. Absolutely. Absolutely fabulous. This bit of lace. I was... More than happy with that. 
So that was my fabrics and lace that I got. And then I got a couple of books. So I got this one, Watercolour Flower Painters Handbook. Love a bit purple. And we've got some lovely images. So it's it's telling you how. It's, it, it's kind of a book on showing you how to watercolour. Um, but you've got all these lovely images it could easily be used. It's not an old book, it's a modern book. I could maybe, you know, try and learn to watercolour using the book. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> I'm probably just going to, there's no probably about it. I'm just going to rip it apart and use it. Look, I've got journaling cards there already. So they are lovely and lush. So, oh, look at that. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing balls that that really is love it and look yeah so there they are starting with the drawing and then going on to the painting not sure I've got the patience my sister in law is learning to do that but I just haven't got the patience not at all but I loved it and then I got another one of these I must nearly have the full set of this, these sort of books. So, our Bonnie Royal Children. So it's Princess Anne and what's now the King. It was Prince Charles. So, how cool is that? This is what's it say? During the absence, during their parents' absence abroad, and have the joyful reunion in Britannia. So yeah. So mum and dad went off. So there we are. The old Queen Mum. I just really liked uh, old photos. I love old photos. How cute and cheeky. So, yeah. I used to have dresses like that. Just really nice, normal pictures of kids having fun with the granny. Just so nice. So yeah, I'll rip this apart. <laughs> so yeah, I mean I haven't quite finished. I'm nearly at the end of my journals. I'll be I'll be doing some more videos soon on my royal journals. I may have even done them. I don't know because I don't know when this one's going to go out. And um, yeah, I thought it said and their reunion. Oh yeah, there they are. There they are in the crown right at the beginning of the crown when the queen got married. Um, you saw her with um, a little cine camera like that, filming things. So, cute. So, yeah. So, looking at that, there is actually loads more. I've got that one. That's all I've got of this, but there are others. So, when I look in the back of others, I can go, I've got that one, that one, and that one. So, yeah. None of them are intact anymore. I've just ripped them up. That's 65p. You can't. You can't. Uh, I can't argue with that. Now, I said to James, I'm not buying any more books. And then I picked this one up and um, I couldn't not have it. Couldn't not have it. This is, it's the complete dressmaking in pictures. So we have these amazing pictures and it's all about dressmaking. I said, I'm going to do a sewing journal. So look, look what I've got now for a sewing journal. I was obviously meant to have not finished it because I have all this and I'd like those people doing slow stitching. And I could copy some of this for slow stitching, but I never did complete my snow. And then you've got pictures like this. I never did complete my slow stitch journal and it's not going to happen because it's just, it's just not in me. Right, that is stuck. There we go. I mean, how can you not love these pictures? They're just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, I went, no, I, I'm buying this because I know exactly what I'm going to use it for. And, um, yeah, so these would be great to go and um, be dotted around a sewing journal. Just brilliant. Love, love. Love, love, love. Fabulous. 
and it, yeah, it remind me of it does make me think my mum made all our clothes when we were little and knitted swimsuits god they were just dreadful and then my last book isn't an old one so um it's a uh, country house camera so it's just lots of pictures it's quite a nice cover. lots of pictures lots of old pictures and i've done a quick tip video of taking books like this taking out the pictures and turning these into um old photos or you could even i could turn these into cabinet cards um so i'll probably bring you another another video on on doing that but here we have cabinet cards you know sometimes you know i mean these are too big really to use so i don't mind cutting them up but they would be fantastic um so that's what i thought i thought i'd go through this and create lots and lots of old photos ready um, for a journal because um, I do love me vintage and they'll go in most theme journals that I use and there we are there's like ghosts so they've done a bit of double exposure there haven't they um, to make it look like there's, there's ghosts so yeah lots and lots of fodder here look at that how fantastic that can't be one family oh no it's grandchildren so they're the 16 grandchildren of the ninth duke of devonshire so yeah they're not siblings presumably presumably they had multiple children and they all had their children what a lovely legacy just gorge so yeah lots of lovely lovely pictures i could cut out paper dolls as well so some of them oh that's the duke of york who then became edward the seventh it didn't last long um oh no duke of york came the king didn't he no it's the prince of wales here he became edward the eighth not edward the seventh yeah i knew what i meant just came out my mouth wrong so yeah i could even use those in my royal channel so yeah very downton-esque as well stunning too big for a journal though but yeah so that is what i got so yeah so in my top tip, it was like, you know, these modern books. Oh, she's pretty. These modern books, you can get lots of, look at that. Look at her eyes and hers. They're lovely. So she was the eldest daughter of the Marquis of Granby. Said to have the loveliest eyes in society. Well, yeah, I can see it. Both got lovely eyes beautiful stunning clothes so there we go that was it that's what i got couldn't not couldn't not buy this at all I had three pound on it oh i know i got that and then i picked up the chopin music from a previous video and i went on oh, the music done she went oh you can have them both for three pounds i basically got the chopin music for nothing um because i actually thought three pounds was quite a lot for this but actually now i've looked through it I've got lots of fodder in there to use, so I think we'll be all right. And like things like that, that's a massive photo, but actually I could take that bit in isolation and I could even take that, although she looks miserable as sin. But, um, oh, it's a he with his grandson. Oh yeah, because they used to dress him in dresses till they were quite old. Well, that looks quite old. Anyway. Now you're just waffling, Jez, and making absolutely no sense. So you need to stop, turn it off, and um, get yourself ready because you're going out to a concert. So I'm going to the Minster tonight, and it's Hans Cinnamon Film Music. Oh, I can't wait. It'll just be lovely. I'm just a bit sad because I'm supposed to be going with Ed. I bought it for Ed, um, the tickets, because that's right up his street. And um, he's in hospital, so he can't come. So I've got to take James instead, but there we go so yeah i need to get ready because we need to leave in about 15 minutes so yeah thanks for joining me <laughs> and sticking around with all my waffle you might have all turned off by now and uh, i'll see you all again soon bye